How's it going guys, Alibos here, welcome back to another video on this channel. So we've got a bit of a different type of video today, it's my first kind of tips and tricks video. So today we're looking at how to boost your FPS and visibility in Rainbow Six Siege. If you want to skip to different parts of the video, the timestamps will be in the description, just different parts of how to set up your monitor, how to set up the game, how to boost your frames and visibility in general. If you do find yourself liking this video, make sure to go subscribe. I upload Rainbow Six Siege content once a week, starting from now. Um, also hit the like button and comment to help the algorithm and share the video with a friend. I'm getting high impressions, not a lot of clicks, so it'd be great if you can recommend it. Anyway, with that being said, let's get into the video. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to be starting with is your NVIDIA control panel. Now this is only going to work if you've got a NVIDIA graphics card. If you've got any type, other type of brand graphics card, this will not work. Um, the same type of control panel or control panel with different 3D settings and color options will be... Well, your graphics card should have that, your brand should have that, but I'm not aware of it and I don't know about it, so I can't show you. I'm sorry, but I'm sure you can find it on Google. This is purely if you've got a NVIDIA graphics card. If you don't know how to get to that control panel, if you didn't see before, just right click on your desktop and click NVIDIA control panel. It might take a second to load, but this is it. All right, so the first thing you want to go to is manage your 3D settings and then go to your program settings, right? So your global settings you can mess with if you want. Um, I haven't really. I'm happy with everything else, but I just want to change it for Siege. Um, you want to go to your program settings and then select Siege. If it isn't here, then you just want to click Add, and then it'll show you your most recently used programs, and Siege should be there. Um, if it is, if Siege isn't there, A to Z, and all your programs are now there. Right. So go to Siege. Um, I play on Vulcan, so that's why Vulcan's there. And these are the settings you want to use. I'm just going to scroll through them slowly if you want to copy them, and then we'll go through them one by one. So, image sharpening, turn it off. Don't worry about it, it's all good. Um, ambient occlusion should be, it'll, the option will be there, but as you turn stuff off, it'll disappear. So just leave that for right now. Um, filtering, turn it off. FXAA, turn it off. Gamma correction, off. Mode, off. Setting, none. Transparency, off. This is all just anti-aliasing stuff. Any aliasing, aliasing is gonna be turned off in-game for our in-game settings anyway. So all this is doing is trying to Add, add anti-aliasing to our game, but anti-aliasing isn't allowed, so it's just kind of giving us frames that shouldn't be there, right? Giving us frame drops that shouldn't be there. Um, CUDA GPUs, global all, low latency mode, and max frame rate, turn that off, all right? We don't want to limit our frames, and we don't want to put on low, low latency. Uh, monitor technology, I've got G-Sync uh, on my monitor, so that's why it's on G-Sync. If you don't have G-Sync, don't worry about it. If you put on G-Sync, nothing's going to happen. Um, so, you can put it on whatever. Just don't put it on fixed refresh, right? If you if you don't have G-Sync, just use use global settings. Um, yeah, fixed refresh will give it a fixed refresh rate. Multi-frame sampled AA, turn that off. Open GL rendering GPU, just put the GPU you'd like to use for your GPU rendering and 3D rendering. I've got that on my only GPU. If you've got dual GPU, that's probably where you got to select it though more. Should be auto-picked to your GPU though. Power management mode, prefer maximum performance. Um, I've got a desktop, so it's always connected to power. Don't need to worry about it running out. If you've got a laptop, though, maybe put that more on optimal power, safe power, or if that's always connected to power, then just check it up. Prefer maximum performance. That's all up to you, though. Um, if you only get the most frames, though, maximum performance will do it. Preferred refresh rate, do it highest available. That's just giving me the highest refresh rate on my monitor. Shader catch, turn that on. Texture filtering, turn that on. Texture filtering, negative LOD bias, allow. Texture filtering, quality, high quality. Now, this is the only thing where we're going to, pretty much one of the only things that we're gonna to do to increase quality and lower frames instead of decrease quality and increase frames, right? So you can put it on high performance if you don't care about quality at all. I recommend high quality, better visibility. Um, it'll lower your frames a bit, but with the amount of stuff that we're doing to harden our frames, it's not really gonna do much frame-wise. Texture filtering, try linear optimization on. Threaded optimization on and triple buffering on. Vertical, vertical sync, turn that off. Always turn vertical sync off or vsync off. Whatever you're doing, not just Siege, any game you play, could be freaking Minecraft, just turn it off, all right? Please. Uh, virtual reality, print run and frames. This doesn't matter unless you got uh, VR. I don't know anything about VR, so I don't really know much about this. I've just chucked it on default, kept it there. All right, that's all done for your 3D settings. Now you can go to color settings. Now this is all personal preference. Personally, this is the one that I, this is the one that I use. I would recommend changing it from default and just playing around. Try mine first, maybe, 
and then give it a go. But as you can see, if you look at the color image, as I change stuff, the color kind of changes, right? So you go into Siege, play around because your monitor may be different. Oh, this is more of a colorblind setting, so that's kind of cool. Um, play around with it. Um, let's put that back in normal. Play around with it. Um, your monitor may be different, have different color settings. This is the one that I like. I've kind of just mixed and matched with it though. Um, so yeah, that's all personal preference though. This is the one that I use and yeah. Anyway, that's all done for the NVIDIA control panel. Let's go on to the next one. All right, the next thing you want to do is search up in your type here to search is run and then percent temp percent, right? This is going to take us to a file, folder, sorry, not file, folder over here with all our temporary files, right? Um, there'll be a lot more. I've already done a take of this video, so I deleted everything already, but there's going to be like a lot of files, right? Um, depending how often you do this, there's going to be a lot, there might be more files or whatever, right? What you want to do is find all the files and just delete it, and it'll delete all the possible files you can delete. There'll be a lot more here. Um, but yeah, this all this is, they're just temporary files that you don't use anymore. There will be some that won't delete, so these ones, it'll just say it can't delete, so you just skip them. That means they're still be partially being used, but the next time you go to delete them, I would recommend doing this once a month, um, they'll delete, right? Next thing you want to do is go to your file and you want to find your Rainbow Six Siege.exe file, right? So you want to go to your, wherever you've saved Siege. Personally, I bought it on Steam, so it's going to be my Steam library, which is on my hard drive. Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then Rainbow Six Siege, right? And then it'll bring you to the Rainbow Six Siege folder. If you bought it on Uplay, then it'll probably be under a Uplay folder. I don't have that. Um, if you got it Steam, then just go to this exact, do this exact pathway and you'll find all your Steam games. Now, it may, it may not be under your terabyte, it could be under a different storage device, that, so that's just wherever you've saved that. Anyway, when you're in the Siege file, you want to scroll to the bottom, oh, scroll to the bottom, and you're going to find your Rainbow Six Siege executable files, right? This is the actual apps that you can run them from, so you can run Siege directly from this. What you want to do, you want to go to the version that you use, so either normal or Vulkan, right click it, and then go to properties. You want to go to compatibility, and you want to disable full screen optimizations, right? This is, I'm not sure, exactly sure what this does. I do know it increases frames though, and frames are good. So that's what we want to do. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about just briefly while we're at it is uh, either using normal or Vulkan, right? What Vulkan does, it just takes the stress off your CPU and put it more on your GPU, right? I know people don't like Vulkan and use normal. I personally use Vulkan because I stream, and when I stream just by myself, it puts quite a lot of stress on my CPU. So adding a game on top of that, I'm just getting frame drops 24-7. So when I play Vulcan, it's a lot more steady and a lot more bearable. We are now going in-game. So here we go, better get into our settings. Um, we're gonna go through our display and graphic settings. Now some of these are gonna be personal preference and I'm not saying to change, to the, like you have to change to them. This is just gonna give you the most frames and the best visibility. Um, there's also some of the graphic settings you can change if you want. And of course, if you got a beefy graphics card, like I don't have a very good graphics card, right? If you got a 2080 Ti or whatever, you can probably get away with playing on Ultra, right? And still get 200-ish frames, I'm guessing, right? So this is just, for me, I got a mid-range graphics card, I'd say. And yeah, this is the settings that I use. I would, uh, even if I had 2080, I'll probably use this, but you know, that's all your choice, right? Okay, so you want to choose a monitor that is your gaming monitor, one with the highest refresh rate. I'm assuming, right? So that's all personal preference. That's going to be your monitors, right? Your resolution, I'd recommend 1080, right? Yeah, you may have a PC that can't run 1080, so you have to go down. But if you look down in video memory, right, the difference between 10, 1080 and 768 is so small, it's insane, right? And the the graphics difference a lot better, right? So use 1080. Try to use 1080 as much as possible. Your PC may not be able to run 1080. Um, so go down to maybe like 720 would probably be the next one. Um, yeah, but try to get as high as you can possible. Next, uh, play full screen. It's going to give you the most refresh rate. As you can see on any of these refresh rates, I can't change my refresh rate. I mean, any of these display modes, I can't change my refresh rate, uh, which is not good. Right? You want to play full screen, you get the most custom, 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 customization. Yes. Um, Refresh rate, put that on the highest. Um, your monitor should support this. You just also need to make sure your monitor is set to it, right? So, to do this, you want to go to your display settings. 
right? Advanced display settings, display adapter properties for whatever display you're using for Siege. Monitor, and then screen refresh rate, put that on the highest, right? That's gonna give you the most, it's not gonna increase your frames, it's just gonna increase what your monitor is showing, right? So fra Hertz is your monitor's frames, pretty much, right? If you're playing on 60 Hertz, but you're emitting 165 frames, then you're only really seeing 60 frames per second, right? If you're emitting 165 Hertz, you're gonna be, if you're emitting 165 frames, you're getting back 165 Hertz. Um, aspect ratio, personal preference. I'm gonna recommend from a competitive standpoint, 16-10 or under is the way to go. 16-10 over, so any of these, not the way to go, right? Um, apart from resol resolution and auto, don't use those. They're, they're, you're weird if you use those. Um, 16-10, 4-3 and 5-4 probably the ones to go. 5-4 is stretched, 4-3 is still stretched, not as much, and 16-10 is t like a tiny bit more stretched than normal. 16-9 is normal, which is this, and then the 16-10. Right, not much of a difference. Very small difference, but I would definitely recommend 16-10. V-Sync, turn that off, just but it won't limit your frames, um, and it only works in situations and T-Hunts, but um, it'll just ha help your T-Hunts and situations be a lot more smoother. Widescreen letter box, turn that off, and field of view, personal preference, I use 90, but I would recommend from a competitive standpoint, again, 80 to 90, right? Anywhere in between there. A lot of pro players will use around 84, 85, I like 90. Um, and of course brightness up to you. I just use default 50 All right graphics now. This is what I was talking about. I don't care how good your graphics card is I don't care if you got a dual 2080 ti and i9 64 gigs of RAM on ultra I'm just chuck that on low All right, look, look at the NVIDIA memory, right? Look how much that changes. Yeah On everything the high I don't even think this is all the highest like if you put this on the highest, right? Max this at 144. I don't think that changes. I don't really know how any of this thing works, right? That's the highest you can get on Siege, right? Best looking Siege you can get, right? Then look how much low, lower it is on low, right? And the, the quality difference isn't that much better, right? Yet, yeah, there, like, there are bits and pieces that are quite noticeable and stuff does look a little worse, but the quality you're giving up for the frames you're gaining is like the ratio is much more in favor for frames right now there are some things you got to change here of course texture quality you'll see me running medium on my streams that's just because I stream but when I am playing comp games and I'm not streaming I've got that on low um, but I would recommend low LOD quality you want to put that on ultra right this if, if it's not on ultra and it's on low then heads are gonna look like triangles you can also run high if you want to but like it doesn't really change much in the video memory section right um but yeah you want that on ultra things will look a bit more in shape it's pretty much just the shape of things if it's not then it's gonna look like triangles um which you don't want shading quality put that on low shadow quality put that on medium um this is worded wrong right low should be off because when shadows are on low, there's no shadows, right? You want on that medium, that's going to give you a competitive advantage. Um, you know, someone could be peeking a corner, and before they even peek, you see their shadow, so you know they're there, you can pre fire them, right? Um, depending on the lighting. Yet, this, so it's just, it, it just helps, right, to know that instead of having it all low and they may have an advantage because they know you're there because they have shadows on. Reflection quality, turn that on low, legit no point for it. Like, why, why would it matter if you can see yourself in a window or not there's barricades on most windows anyway ambient occlusion turn that off lens effect turn that off some people put that on bloom um, so they can see their charm like all lighted up but like if you're peeking and there's a light above you then the bloom from the light can be distracting so I just turn that off zoom in depth of field um, when that's on like when you zoom ADS outside of the scope is all fuzzy right it's, and so you just focus on the scope I don't like that because now I can't see out my, outside my scope, right? So like if someone peeks me from outside where I'm ADSing, I can't really see them because it's all fuzzy. So turn that off. Anti-aliasing, you want to turn it off. No matter if, if you feel like, nah, stuff this, I'm just going to play low. Even if you're playing ultra, this is the one thing I recommend. Turn anti-aliasing off. It's going to look a lot cleaner, sharper, nicer, 
Um, yeah, you, if you look really closely at things, you can see the pixels around it. It's got it might and your frames do go up a little bit, uh, down a little bit, but it's a lot cleaner, and I can see better with it. Anyway, they're the settings I would use. I'm going to show you now in a T hunt ultra compared to low, um, so you can see the frame difference. And yeah, let's do it. So this is currently on ultra graphics. Um, Anti-aliasing is on currently. This is the highest you can go on Siege. Um, we're on the map. Oregon, it does look very clean and very pretty. Um, it is a very nice game. A very good looking game when it's on ultra settings. But if you do, if you are playing competitively, then you're not really stopping to look at the scenery, right? You're just trying to get kills. And frames are going to help you get kills. Okay, so after the test, we get our benchmark results. We're getting around a 150 average FPS, which is that's, that's pretty good, right? 157 is very good, right? Um, average GPU render time 60 millise 6 milliseconds, and then CPU render time 6.4. Our max range was 185, and our minimum was 136. That is pretty good, right? And yeah, that, that that they're good frames, right? Anybody would be happy with that, right? But what if we could get more, right? So we're now going to go onto low settings, the things that I was showing you before, and we're going to see how many more frames we can get. You gotta see straight away as we get into it, the game does look a little worse, yes, but look at the frame difference. We're going plus two, we're around the 240 mark, right? Which is so much more, right? When we maxed out 163 last time, now we're maxing out around 250. When stuff blows up, we're only got dipping down to 190, which is insane. So you can tell with the anti aliasing kicking in, like around this door, for example, you can see the pixels, and it doesn't look as, you know, pretty. It looks a lot more sharper, looks a lot more less rendered looks like you're playing on low graphics right but like look at the frames man. like when we get into a full room with 10 people the frames are gonna dip rarely you're gonna be in a room with 10 people let's be honest right it's still it when we're in a room full of people it's still more than our average and about our max with four percent right so we're gonna get through now we're about to end the test and i'll get back to you when we get the results Alrighty, so we're here at our results and we got a 208 fps average what our minimum FPS was cl was our average FPS and our max was 252 right hundred more than our average right <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> so we got around a 60 plus average frame rate. We got two milliseconds less on all the gender time uh, Well our render times uh, and our GPU and CPU load were pretty similar, all right? Which is which is disappointing. Yes, and it does it help, kind of helps the case that ultra settings are ultra settings are better. But you know, I would argue that 60 frames is better than 60 less frames. Even though it's 155, I'd rather be playing on 208. Um, so it does dip when people get in the room and stuff, which is annoying. It's alright, but you can see when we're just walking around the map and stuff, it is very high. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be the video for you. If you did like it, make sure to go subscribe, like the video, comment, share with a friend. Uh, make sure to go link in the bio for my Twitch channel. We're on the road to partner. We're averaging around six viewers, so it'll be great. If you join now, you're about you're about to be the beginning of a great channel. <laughs> um, yeah, so go follow that. Go watch the streams. I stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 3.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.